Can you smell it in the air? The state semifinals are here. And for Nevis, they're looking to get to the prep bowl next weekend for the first time in school history. And oh yeah, by the way, they get to take the turf at U.S. Bank Stadium. Standing in their way though, Russell Tyler Ruthen. Buckle up, it's nine-man semifinals. Tigers force a three and out. Then first offensive drive, Kyle Schmidt picks up where he left off last week. It's eight nothing Nevis, then a little defense later. Cooper Hansen to pass, but look at Zach Henry. What an adjustment for the INT. T Tigers take over. A lot of big plays in the first half, but this may be the biggest. Jack DeWolf to Luke DeWolf. Looks like an eight yard out, but he gets up the field and just toying with every defender. He's off to the races. No one's gonna catch him. See you later. It's a four score lead, but they weren't done yet. This time DeWolf, Jack, the option keeper sneaks into the end zone. They're up 32-8 at the half. RTR cuts it though to 16, but Neva scores and this the dagger. And again, the big play defense, DeWolf. See, stop me if you've seen this before. It's going the other way. Tigers pick off four on the game. The offense puts up 44 points to win by 28 in advance to the Prep Bowl for the first time in school history. I thought we played really well in the first half. It was uh, impressive and we got off to a first good start. Um, defense played well. We were able to run the ball, control the tempo of the game first half. Came out of the second half. I thought we were a little sluggish there the first five, six minutes, and then we kind of put them away, you know, probably late in that third quarter. I saw the ball and I just knew that I had to get my feet in because we, uh, we needed that momentum back. And um, it certainly helped out. We, I think we punched it in that time and then the next drive after that. So we, it, it helped us get a stop and then it helped us get our uh, momentum back as well. The past uh, few games we've been really dependent on our run. We couldn't really get the pass game going, but Today I felt like everything was kind of working for us. We were able to run the ball up the gut. We were able to run the sweep and then our, our pass plays were also there too. So the prep bowl is set for next Friday at 10 a.m. and nine man. Nevis will take on 13 and 0 Spring Grove who beat Stephen Argyle 27 to seven yesterday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.